So auto create sub account using Pabli and Guhai level form. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you could create auto create a sub account using Guhai level forms and Pabli. So the features for this automation is you could auto create a sub account, auto create or auto assign user, auto load a snapshot that you have and assign user permissions in that sub account. Okay, so note, this will only work if you are on a Guhai level agency pro plan which is $240 a month. Now because they have a huge sale this month which is 50% off to their previous price which is $497 a month. So as you can see here, they have a cyber week. So they have a 50% off into the regular price and also you can pay a 50% off for three months. So this is just a once a year offer. So you just have to grab this one. Okay, so first you need to create a form in Guhai level that includes all the required fields for creating a sub account. So as you can see here, this is the form that I've been talking about. So this is just a basic info for your um, client's information so that they could easily create a sub account. So these are the required fields on it. So you have a first name, last name, email, phone, business name, postal code. So all you need to do is just copy these fields in here and then create a form so that you could proceed to the next step. Okay. So the next one is then you will create a workflow. So the workflow includes trigger, which is form submitted and the action is a webhook. Okay. So this is the workflow so i rename this I, this as auto create sub account so the trigger is the form submitted the form that we have and then also the webhook so you need to always keep in mind that you need to adjust this in here to post so and then this is how you paste your webhook into your um from pably okay so next you need to do is have an account for pably so go to www.pably.com and then create your account so if you already have an account on pably so what you we're going to do is we need to create a workflow the first workflow is called pably webhook the second one is a lead connector v1 create a location or a create a sub account the next workflow is lead connector tour v1 also create user or assign user so yep so we all if you have an account in pably then all you need to do is create a workflow and then name the workflow okay so next is you need to type in webhook Okay, so then copy this webhook in here and then paste this into your workflow or so the webhook in here then paste this one copy and paste then click save. So this is the first step is the webhook. Okay, so next is we are going to test this out. So we didn't go to the form that we created so that we could have a data transmit into this webhook. Okay, so this is the form that I created earlier. It's name Mark.io website it's, and then I agree create my account. Then let's wait for this to catch up the data in here okay so as you can see here there's a data already loaded into our webhook so as you can see here the company name the website the, the contact source so as you can see here the address the email the phone and then all you need to do is create a new webhook called lead connector v1 so all you need to do is just click on the add step in here so then once you click click on the add step you should be able to choose the lead connector v1 and then for the action of it you just have to choose the create location or create a sub account and then all you need to do is connect your api key agency api key into your guha level account and then add new connection and then here's where you input the url of your api key so for you to be able to do that you need to go to your agency settings and then go to settings and then go to api key and then copy the API key of your agency API key not the location API key so you need to copy the agency API key so if you want you could like create a new API key in here so let's just put this as Pabli and then click save and then all you need to do is copy the API key and then paste it in, in here then click save okay so as you can see here there's a input in here that we need to map out the fields so all you need to do is map, map out the field that they have in this webhook okay so all you need to do is just click this one then type in business name then the state then the country then the postal code just have to map out what the needed in here in the website okay this one then the time zone okay. first name last name email the phone number and <clears throat> call down then also you could um, load the snapshots in here that you have if you already have a snapshots for your agency and then you want to load that in into your sub account 
so this is where you find the snapshot type in here uh view the snapshot in here so you just have to switch if this is imported and then they have to like load the snapshot so i have just have to load the mortgage snapshots okay and then all you need to do is save and save and send test request okay so as you can see here we already send a request into our um company it should be able to um load the sub account that we created so let's check this out okay go to sub accounts then let's type in framework okay so the account has been created so this is framework.io so as you can see here it's already been created you need to switch this account to see if the snapshots is, has, is already loaded which is the mortgage snapshot the one that I, we have been created so okay so as you can see here the snapshot is successfully loaded into the sub account okay so what we are going to do next is we are going to add an, another action so that the user will be auto assigned into the sub account so okay, next what you need to do is create an action or another workflow in here called lead connector v1 again and then but the action is create user so and then all you need to do is just um type in or map out the fields so for example the first name but this time all you need to do is click this one you need to type in or just choose the lead connector v1 so just type in here first name so this one don't choose this one just choose the number two okay so and then for the location so you just have to type in here the password also type the password the default password that you want and the type so it's either agency or account so this just choose this account because we need to assign them into the sub account okay so and then the location id so we need to choose this one number two and then type in id so as you can see here there's a, an id in here so just choose this one but i already clicked this in here so and then for the permissions these are the user permis permissions or the rules of their um sub account so for example you are not going to need to have access to them into their funnels or websites so you just have to put this in here as false so yep that's how you do it but in my case i just have to want them to access into their panel so just type in here true then once you've done in here then you need, you need to click save and send test request okay so as you can see here the user has auto assigned into the our um, crm into their sub account so this is successfully been added so yep so that's how you auto create a sub account using pably and buhai level forms so yep have a good day bye bye